right. Awesome, more people are hopping on. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome in everybody. Welcome, Gina. Good to see you. Just going to ask everybody, yep, go ahead and mute your phones if you have, mute your microphones until we have time for questions. Super, super. Sylvia, welcome in. This is exciting. All right, and all of you on Facebook, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is an exciting evening. Actually, we're living in an exciting time in history. It doesn't feel so fun. It doesn't feel so exciting, you know, when we're facing things like coronavirus and cooped up within our four walls with a bunch of noisy kids. I, yeah, we're, we're all dealing with this. And, um, but if there's, you know, I, even before this, and it's just getting worse now, we're living in a time of so much sadness, really, so much sickness, cancer, death, and even just things like, you know, the annoying acid reflux, the heartburn, the the thyroid issues, hair falling out, weight issues. All of us have these health things that are just making life less than desirable. And that is the reason we are here tonight, to talk about the virus and how to protect your family for now and for the future, but also to get some real answers. If there's ever a time in history when we needed real health answers, it is now. It is a time we need actual real solutions that work, real answers that answers the questions and don't just run around the bush, you know, and doesn't really get down to the real question that you have in your heart and in your mind. And Dr. Legree, I'm going to tell you, he is extremely passionate about the subject tonight. This whole subject of inflammation, immune system, is near and dear to his heart. He has literally spent a million dollars training and working and learning with the leaders in America to get to the point where he's able to change people's lives. He has patients that come from, have been to Mayo, they've been to all other you know, places like Duke and um, Emory, still dealing with their health issues. And when they come to Dr. Legree, he is able to help them. It's absolutely amazing. And he'll, I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you my story, but I'm so passionate because he actually changed my life too. And so he'll tell you more about that as he goes along. But we need real answers today. You and I need real answers. You and I need solutions that work because we deserve to have a life that's enjoyable, a life that's long, and it's not half miserable the whole way there. So I am excited to introduce to you immune system expert, Dr. Jeff Legree. I'll let him take it from here. Awesome. Good evening, guys. How's everybody doing? So, um, wanted to start off um, uh, thanking everybody who is on. And uh, a little technical difficulty. So, I wanted to start off with a patient that uh, re recently came into the office. Um, she had uh, actually been to the Mayo Clinic, uh, five times failed Mayo Clinic case. And uh, this is the complexity of the cases that come in that need answers after they've seen everybody else and tried all sorts of other things. We have a slightly different approach than what the standard of uh, what, what, what a lot of you have already tried. And so I, that's where uh, how we could figure out uh, this case. This lady was 51 years old. I'm 54 myself. Um, and this lady came in and she had one ovary, no, gall no gallbladder. She was on a statin drug. She had a blood clotting disorder. She couldn't sleep. She would wake up every two hours. She had her stools were diarrhea all day, every day, constant food was sh going straight through her right? Um, her lungs, constant cough all the time. She couldn't take a deep breath. Uh, wheezing. She had a kid, a sophomore at Clemson, and a, and a, and a daughter uh, who was a 10th grader in high school. And all she wanted to do was like really like 
connect and do it and be able to run around with the kids and not be a prisoner of her house. So she got referred in by one of our patients. She had fibromyalgia since 1993, lungs constant cough all the time, heart having chest pains, arrhythmia, extra heartbeats, constant chest pressure, four hip replacements. Like four hip, four different replacements, hips and knees, glaucoma diagnosis, diabetes diagnosis, kidney, kidney issues, stage three, kidney failure, been to the Mayo Clinic, Hashimoto, she had a thyroid issue, bulging disc in her low back, biopsies on her bladder, gets exhausted easily, obviously she had no energy. So she comes into the clinic, she's referred by one of our patients, and she was done with playing around with symptoms. She wanted to get to the root cause. So, Brain fog, you know, no sleep, constant cough all the time. Um, she was disabled in two th two th since 2008. So what did we do? We didn't do the typical, the typical thing that a lot of you have already tried. We totally did root cause testing. And a lot of this is because you guys don't understand this is why you're dealing with what you're dealing with um, is because you, 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 I'm glad you haven't given up. Let's just put it that way. Um, so if we can get this going. Actually, I think the other direction. And there, we go. there we go. There we go. So tonight we're going to cover the real reasons why you are sick and why nothing you are doing. Well, some of the things maybe you're doing that are working or not and how you can actually learn about your health and get your health back. And so um, common things that a lot of the patients come in with, fatigue, brain fog, anxiety, depression, weight gain, inability to lose weight, joint pain, and gut issues. If that's you guys, like you definitely do not want to minimalize any of this. You know, Karen, at 51 years of age, when she came into the office, and she had been to Emory University, Mayo Clinic, Duke, and she, they just put her on a disability, and she's got a 10th grader at home, and she's got a freshman, a, 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 a freshman at Clemson and a 10th grader at a local high school, and all she wanted to do was not be in the bathroom all the time with her diarrhea. So... We approached her totally different. First of all, we listened to her and we took a case history. And this is her case history. I don't know if you can see, see this. But th this is what you really got to do with a, with a human. You have to hear them out, number one. You have to have this kind of detailed notes in listening or else... You'll never figure out what's going on with, with the patient. So if that's, that's the number one, because the keys to the kingdom lie within you guys, what your story is from kindergarten through 12, 12th grade, afterwards in college, in the decades after that. That's how you solve the different issues. Um, so... This is like what happens usually with a lot of people in our community. They're off track and they're having some sort of crisis or major crash. Our aunts, our uncles, our children, our, our, in our, the mothers and fathers, we're, we're seeing most of the people in our, in our uh, family's lives are having tremendous sadness all due to like a lack of understanding of the immune system, which is one of the primary things that you have to learn more about if you actually want to heal yourselves and solve your problems. So the only way for you to start feeling better is to get to the root cause. The only way to do that is to look in the right places. 
So with Karen, after she bent all over and she was hopeless, disabled, I remember she fell in the parking lot because she was like a 90 year old when she tried to get over the curb because she had the double knee and double hip replacements at 51 years of age. It was like she was 30, 40 years older than, than she was. And there's a very good reason for that. So all the experts agree that most people agree that inflammation, when it gets out of control, plays a role in almost every major disease. So inflammation is a, obviously a huge thing in the root cause of disease. So John Hopkins, same thing. As scientists have searched for the mysteries behind the diseases most likely to afflict us, they have all uh, agreed on one common factor, and that is inflammation being the root cause. Did we lose these guys? Uh, my, my Zoom is playing tricks on me here. I think, it's uh, still, I think they can still see us, but we weren't seeing yep. them. <laughs> so, chronic inflammation can eventually cause several diseases and conditions. That's why... When you guys are looking at different joint pains, pain, numbness, weight issues, loss of mobility, difficulty sleeping, numbness in shoulders. I'm looking at some of the some of the stuff that some of you guys have tonight. Irritability, mood, weight issues, weight loss resistance, getting stiffer having problems sleeping, digestive problems, difficulty focusing, irritability, stress, anxiety, weight issues. Without a doubt, the body will get more and more chronically inflamed. And a lot of that stuff comes from even your mom's fillings and some of the fillings that our parents had from the, remember the silver amalgam fillings. These things go directly in the bloodstream. They're a major toxin and they cause tremendous amounts of inflammation. The whole bunch of different cosmetics. Aluminum. Think about all the aluminum pans that your mom cooked with. Think about all the aluminum cans that we drank sodas at, at when we were younger. The shampoos, the eyeshadows, the lipsticks, the nail nail the body lotion the deodorant the blushes the hairsprays this is a lot of the reason as this sponge absorbs all these toxins the women have huge increases of um, endocrine disruptors where the breast cancer the uterine cancer the pcos the cyst the polyps the thickening of the uterus the irregular periods, the real heavy cramping. All that stuff comes from tons of toxins, tons of inflammation, which begins to throw the hormone imbalance off. And then you've got your guys' food source. So the GMOs, Genetically modified organisms, which are in all the processed foods and every single restaurant that you eat at, then you've got to try to negotiate that and try to have a, a calm brain and not have anxiety, depression, uh, different um, blood sugar issues. GMOs are glyphosate, that's Roundup, that's what most of the food supply is sprayed with if you're not eating organic. So the different effects can be headaches, migraines, joint pains, fibromyalgia, musculoskeletal pain, hormonal issues, menstrual issues, high blood pressure, insomnia, gluten sensitivity, restless leg, autism diagnosis, it goes on and on and on acid reflux. If you're on a proton pump inhibitor and you think that's going to 
be a solution to your problem, what that does is cause several other imbalances in the GI tract that is going to affect things like your liver. It's going to affect things like your just your, your whole GI, your small and large intestine, and eventually affect your brains. So immune system problems, frequent colds and flus, asthma, allergies, reproductive issues. We don't have any of those, do we, these days? All the infertility cases, the erectile dysfunction, organ damage, kidney disease, fatty liver disease, irritable bowel, Crohn's disease. I mean, the onslaught with inflammation and toxicity and GMOs that you guys have come up against, your, your kids, your mom, your dad, everybody in your family, your aunt, aunts and uncles, no wonder there's so much disease. You know, there's so much... I, I don't even see how anybody can sleep or not be a, like an anxiety and stress case facing these great assaults on the body. So depression, we've got all sorts of drugs for these, of course, which cover up one problem but never really get to the root cause. So brain fog, that's a common one. Short-term memory loss, attention span. How about your skin? How many of you guys have like bump skin or you had a history of eczema or different um, psoriasis or, or, or different skin issues, acne when you were growing up? I know I did. I had tons of eczema. I didn't understand why that that was actually an immune system problem, immune system issue. That's why all the steroid creams never worked for me. So... You guys, energy is tanked. And then all the cancer. Have you noticed how much cancer is in all the kids these days? All the childhood cancer, all the bike rides for cures for cancer. Like I'm an 80s kid. I'm 54 years old. I never saw anything like this when I was growing up in the 80s. I didn't see the number of autism. I didn't see the number of childhood cancer. We are creating all this stuff to manage all these diseases. And that's why you have to think differently. You have to, treat, you have to do a different approach if you're ever going to get off this whole crazy bus. Did you know that Roundup and glyphosate, something your dad and your uncles used, and maybe even you used, as a kid, how it depletes all the minerals, so it kills all the beneficial gut bacteria, it depletes the serotonin to have a good mood, and the melatonin and the dopamine. Like, these are your happy juices. This is why most of the women have anxiety and depression. And all sorts of... And the craziest thing is it disrupts your, um, your detoxification pathway and suppresses your vitamin D pr production. So mainly this is really what humans look like. If you look like closely, you just see here's the Buddha belly. I know it's coming out the side of the rat sideways. Here's the muffin top and the Buddha belly on all the humans. Like and we like we're loud and proud we're actually proud of the Buddha bellies and the muffin tops until we get, they get big enough where they become a problem and lead to a major heart attack or some sort of cancer because your immune system is in your stomach. It's in your gut. So this is much of the human team. It's like a lab rat experiment with all the glyphosate, the inflammation, and then we put more and more and more drugs. And I don't have a problem with drugs. Drugs are were, were always a forward-moving, short-term thing, not a lifetime addiction where, where the human team is at right now. So, once again, heart disease, breathing problems. We got all sorts of drugs for, for these. Arthritis, high cholesterol, depression, hypertension, uh, diabetes, uh, short lifespan. So when you guys have your Buddha belly and your muffin top, what you have is an innate response from the, the, your body 
to try to put out the cellular forest fire and that the, the uh, severe amount of toxicity from all the restaurant foods that you're eating on a daily, but you know, regular basis, not as much anymore. Um, but you're looking at a God given fire extinguisher to save your primary organs from faster destruction, more disease and earlier death. The body never does anything stupid. Humans do stupid things, but your body doesn't. Your body's constantly trying to save itself from all the craziness that you're doing to it. So this is pre pretty fascinating. Uh, when I was in 1985, it was one in one out of uh, 2,500 kids had autism. Now we're way less than one in 50. Like, is that, do we just think that's like happening for no reason? It's because we don't understand what we're doing to ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's why when Karen comes in and she's a five times failed Mayo Clinic case and she has a laundry list like this, we actually approach things totally different and we can get a totally re different result where she comes off the disability She's running around with her kids, enjoying all the, the games at Clemson, enjoying the different games with her 10th grade daughter, and she's a participant. She's not a disabled person at 51 years old. And by the way, she came off that disability with this approach. So and this is a high, high, high skill set case. This is full destruction with the hip and knee replacements tore up from inflammation, toxicity, multi-system organ failure, skin, lungs, heart, eyeballs, pancreas, kidneys. And that's, that, that's what some of the results is with some of our community members, chest pains, heart arrhythmias. Of course, her, her heart is stressed. So, of course, we've got tons of autism. So inflammation, everybody knows, is the root disease or the root cause to most of the cancer, weight loss, arthritis, hormonal imbalances, the lupus, the MS, the type 2 diabetes, the thyroid, infertility issues. And this is what's going on in the booty belly and in the gut, uh, the muffin top. So different traumas to the organism. That's why you have to do a detailed case history with the human. You have to be able to listen to them because trauma, toxins, and emotional stress, now with the COVID situation and watching the idiot box every single night, it's causing tremendous, tremendous disease is going to go up at catastrophic rates. Mm -hmm. So... Irregular periods, hormone imbalance, numbness in the feet, weight loss issues, difficulty sleeping, uh, difficulty focusing, uh, joint pain, um, diabetes. I mean, you're going to just see, you're just going to see Big Pharma is just going to have a field day and they're going to make tons and tons of money because people don't have this information. And that's fine, but you're going to see more and more earlier death. Like you're seeing all the cancer in the young kids right now. There's a reason why our kids don't have immune system coming out of our 30 and 20 year old mommies these days. It's because the mommies are so imbalanced and so destroyed internally themselves because there hasn't been proper testing that they produce kids they have old person diseases. So this is the core of the human. As more and more fat gets wrapped around the liver and wrapped around the internal organs, you're going to see it doesn't matter when you do different weight loss, keto, paleo, uh, whole 30 diets. If you're sick and you try to force drive weight loss, and if any of you guys have had the weight loss come back immediately, your body's intelligence of God, the innate intelligence of God is not going to let the body be 
vulnerable for very long. And that's why the weight loss resistance exists. So this is an example of a leaky gut. This is one of the, one of the things that's uh, vital. As different foods come and go in between the nutrient converters and go directly into the bloodstream, you're going to see all sorts of drained energy, massive autoimmune disease, diabetes, massive uh, amounts of inflammation to create all sorts of great hip knee replacements very very early on so on top of that the leaky gut will create nutrient malabsorption will make it very difficult to get important nutrients to protect your brain to protect your grandmother's and your mom and your dad's brain. And that's why there's all these memory care centers. And one of the reasons that they're being built by unbelievable historical amounts, because nobody understands Parkinson's, Alzheimer's and neurodegeneration. They're just managing that stuff with symptom, th symptom things like medications that never get to the root cause. Medications are very forward moving and value building, but they never get to the root cause of disease. So that's an important thing to understand. So we're the sickest country in the world with the most money. That is a problem because all our personal lives, all our Gosh, all, all our hobbies, anything that we care about, you can kiss it goodbye. But it's like more emotional stress, more toxic stress, more inflammation stress. We're going to see very, 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 very sad times in our community around the United States as nobody is getting to root cause. So there's a couple of people on tonight. Um, and I've got a list of different, different things, um, different systems, bodily systems uh, that really like RA and fibromyalgia, those are autoimmune like based disorders, immune system problems because we don't understand the immune system very well. Hormonal imbalances. How do the hormones get out of balance? These are all super, super uh, important questions. How does our brain not sleep? How does our GI not, um, how do we get acid reflux and digestive issues? These are all very, very, very vital um, things because they lead to bigger chronic pathology and disease. So I would not minimize acid reflux. I would not minimize any kind of GI problems like diarrhea or constipation patterns. I would not minimize any difficulty focusing stress and anxiety and weight issues. I would most importantly, if you don't have the energy that like Juanita was a patient, um, and she, um, Juanita presented, the reason why Juanita believes in this approach is because she presented with irregular heartbeats, preventricular contractures, uh, anxiety, depression, diarrhea, weak and lightheaded. She had uh, breast lumps, constipation. And don't think that we like, we don't cure anything, okay? We just show you how basically to strengthen your God-given, uh, the magnificence of God that's inside of you that keeps the body in homeostatic balance. So when Juanita came with, uh, with all sorts of breast lumps, heart problems, GI problems, skin problems, hair problems, um, you know, diarrhea, 
getting flus all the time. We didn't cure anything. We didn't treat anything. We actually tested differently. And we, uh, we found out why she was having all these red lights on the dashboard, like a lot of you guys have. These symptoms are not to be covered up by medications and just think that they're not going to come back and haunt you at a later date because they will. And they are. And that's what cancer and heart disease is all about. This thing just jumped off. I don't know if it... It's, yeah, but it, it's still uh, running. It just it's goes It's still running. The, so... It's crazy for some reason. Yeah, the reason why Juanita lost 42 pounds of fluid and fat wrapped around her organs is because we knew how to answer the body's questions. Mm -hmm. We knew how the body talked. We understood the body through testing and listening. Um, and so... There was a lady that came in the other day. She had anxiety or she had uh, insomnia, depression, hyper sweating, irritable bowel syndrome since 28 years of age, diarrhea, bowel problems her whole life since 28, migraines, bilateral carpal tunnel, hormone replacement therapy, breast cancer in 1991, breast cancer again in 2004, depression meds, complete hysterectomy, Cancer came back the second time in 2004. Nobody heard her. Or at least they probably thought they were hearing what she was saying. Or they did their best. This lady was lying in bed for three years. She had no energy. She comes to the office. We listen to her. We test differently. And she started... It was Carolyn, remember? Yeah. She went, she painted the whole inside of her house. <laughs> she was doing yard work at her cottage. It was like late 70s, right? She's like in her, yeah, in her, in her late, late to mid 70s. And the reason why she had no energy is because she had a, a serious fight or flight state. Fight or flight state inside the body where the body was allocating all its resources to a more silent iceberg that was growing and growing and growing. She had been covered and smothered with tons of drugs, never getting to root cause. And then finally, like, take it, not having any golden years. It's real, real easy to get to the root cause of problems. You have to have to be differently, trained differently. But these cases all start out as I had a little irritable bowel syndrome. I had a little acid reflux and I took a proton pump inhibitor, Rolates and Tums, and it, it takes care of it. So the cancer comes on because we don't understand the human body. And nobody is listening to you guys. Like I said, we don't cure anything. We don't treat anything. We just know how to make the body very, very strong and, and bring it back to homeostatic balance, homeostasis, with the power of God inside the human body, which was always strong and virulent, but then got suppressed with all this inflammation, toxins, traumas, and all this emotional stress and damage. And that's why a lot of you girls have spaghetti brains with anxiety, depression, because there is no chance of there being internal peace and calm inside the human body unless you get to the root causes. Mm -hmm. So, and this is on and on and on. People come in here all the time. They come and they try everything else and then they finally... They, they start asking questions like, you know, how, how, how are all these things beginning to negatively infect our income, our life, our relationships, our business, our family, our companies, our health? What is going on in our communities right now? It's that we're doing one approach towards health and it's not working. 
So from my experience, I had to go and learn totally different ways to solve problems. And that's what I'd like to do for you guys. So what would it look like six months or a year from now if you don't address some of these things that you have going on and we've got all this extra emotional stress? What will this be if you keep covering up things with symptoms, keep covering up symptoms and ignoring them and making them go away and not getting to the root cause? So what, if, what are some of the things you guys have done to try to fix this? And how has it worked? How long has the problem existed? What, how much of your deductibles have you spent? If you look over the last decade, like what has all the deductibles added up in cost? And what is it costing you on other levels? If you were to put a specific monetary cost to all that loss of whatever hobbies, professional life, sleep, what would that actually, what would that be? What if we could solve this problem? And like this could be an answer from God that you've been praying for. What would be different in your business, your family, your work, and your stress levels? What more, what could you be doing? What other goals could you be achieving? Juanita's 46 and she has a 26-year-old body. I'm 54 and I don't look like most 54-year-olds. And what would that change and how would you look? Like if this was a divine answer to your prayer, like it was Karen's, like it was Juanita's. Mm -hmm. The only reason Juanita's on staff is because she lived it. Mm -hmm. And now she wants to bring it to people like you. Because we know you guys have been praying for an answer. And the hands and feet of God are falling apart. So with that said... What we're offering, because I don't want to take up a whole bunch of your time because I could talk forever and a lot of these topics get, are very detailed. So what I would like to do is offer you a free 15-minute consult, which is the link, Juanita, on the... Yes, the link is on the... Um, let's pop on here. On Facebook, you'll find the link in the comments. You can click on that. And on Zoom, you'll have to copy and paste it. It's in the chat. Um, and you can copy and paste that over. So yeah, just click on that as soon as you can. There is a limited number of slots available and it'll be just in the next two days um, that those, those spots are. So I want to grab yours as soon as you can so you can get one that works in your schedule. So yeah, in the, on Facebook it's in the comments and on Zoom it is in the chat. Yeah, so we'll sit down for 15 minutes and I just want to hear what's going on and see if the what you've done, what if there's a there's another option for you guys, and if we if you can even be uh, helped with the different things that you have. So, um, thank you for coming on tonight. Um, believe me, uh, this is uh, a mission from God to answer prayers for people who haven't got answers. Mm -hmm. That's a, we work with people who are serious mm -hmm. and who are done with not getting results. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to offer you guys. Yeah. Um, anybody who knows us have seen unbelievable, unbelievable clinical results, people being reversed from disabilities. Um, and so we wanna extend that to you and your circle of influence. F I'll do a free 15 minute call and we'll be asking you some different questions for sure. Um, and so thank you for coming on tonight. Uh, please, if someone is in uh, really, really sick and they don't have an immune system, and we're going to learn just how important that having an immune system is, I think now is the time, now is a, a, a time, a greater time than ever to love your body, learn something different, and take care of yourself better because if you don't think that 
There's 600,000 people, just to get you to understand. Amid a high 600,000 people who die from heart disease, strokes, 500 and some thousand die from cancer a year. And then 400,000 die from the healthcare system itself. And we're uh, not to minimize COVID. COVID is very much an immune system problem because it has almost no impact on a healthy immune system. It is the vulnerable immune systems mm -hmm. that fall susceptible because they have no homeostatic fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this increased stress in not understanding our bodies, this is a big wake up call. So this may be a time that you begin to love yourself in it and, and, and set some health goals and change some things while you have some time at home and to think about has what you've done worked so from my heart um, thank you guys for coming on um, and I hope to speak with some of you on some of the free uh, 15 minute consults if we can help you which I believe that we usually can because we have a different approach It'll be awesome to serve you guys and to answer some prayers. So thanks for coming on tonight, y'all. And um, please uh, share this with people who are frustrated and burnt out and almost medically bankrupt and financially uh, um, at their wits end with all the money they've spent with their health care problems and health issues. So thank you very much, y'all. Thanks for coming on tonight and have a great evening.